Hi everyone, welcome back to a Days in the Life of a Psychology Student. It's been a really busy and challenging journey towards getting my Master's of Science in Psychology and I'm really excited to say that I'm almost completing my psychology program. I'm going to be finished in December so I only have like 10 weeks to go and then I'll be completed with the Masters of Science in Psychology. The courses that I'm going to be taking for this last term at Southern New Hampshire University are uh, Intervention Strategies and Capstone in Psychology. So I'm going to give you an overview of what my week looks like for um, this first week of the term. Monday, which is today, I'm going to be starting Module 1 for both of the courses, so for Intervention Strategies and Capstone in Psychology. Then I'm going to be reading Chapter 1, I'm also going to be sourcing peer-reviewed journals, two of those today, and that's going to be for a short paper that I'm going to be writing. I also have for the uh, mental health case manager internship, I have a staff meeting at 1 p.m. I'm going to I have to review the final projects. It's like a document that I have to read for both of the courses. And then I'm going to have to re uh, read the peer-reviewed journals, two of those. And I also have a case management sessions well, at 12 p.m. and 3 p.m. Then on Tuesday, October 15th, I'm going to be sourcing two peer review journals. I also have a um, for the internship as a mental health case manager, a programs department meeting at 1 p.m. I'm going to be reading two peer review journals. That's going to be for the discussion post that I'm going to be writing. And then I have a case management check-in. And that's going to be like for um, two individuals at 4 p.m. And then on Wednesday, October 16th, I'm going to be um, buying the cap and gown. And then I also have the discussion posts to write and a short paper to write and a case management check-in for one individual. And in these sessions, I mainly um, speak to the clients and see what steps they're at in their action plan that we um, that I provided them with. And um, yeah, we just go through and see if they need any um, additional resources or guidance for the goals they would like to complete. So it's a lot of goal setting and planning for mental health case managers and also resource coordination. That's basically a summary of how my week is going to be and I'm going to be taking all of you along with me. If you're wondering what the final project looks like for the courses that I'm going to be taking, um, basically for the intervention strategies course, I'm going to be doing an intervention plan and it's just like my recommendations of which interventions um, I recommend based on whichever mental health struggle that they're going through. The capstone in psychology course is going to be a final project of a research proposal and for that I'm going to be choosing the topic of um, life coaching and how that um, like um, improves uh, mental health and how that's correlated to um, like in general like an individual's emotional and mental health. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with uh, reading the final projects for each of the courses and um, also with sourcing um, two peer review journals from the Shapiro Library and yeah then I'll get started with reading those um, until I have the internship staff meeting at 1 p.m. Hi everyone, welcome to Tuesday, Days in the Life of a Psychology Student. And yesterday I did a lot of reading. So basically I finished reading chapter one for the um, ebook that I uh, got for the course. And this was for the Intervention Strategies course. The book was an ebook on Vital Source Bookshelf. And um, yes, yeah, so I got that read and I did take some notes also. Um, and then I also read two peer review journals. They were like 12 pages long and I've got some notes on these note cards, well, on these index cards, I've got some notes. Um, and it basically these, uh, the peer review journals that I read yesterday is for a short paper that I'm going to be writing on Wednesday. Yeah, so I've got those checked off the agenda and for today, um, basically I have an internship programs department meeting at 1 p.m. 
And then um, prior to that, because it's um, still morning, I'm going to be doing um, sourcing two peer-reviewed journals and then reading two peer-reviewed journals. And these peer-reviewed journals are going to be for the discussion question for the intervention strategies course. And then I also have a case management check-in um, with two individuals at 4 p.m. Welcome to Wednesday. Today on the agenda, the first thing that I'm going to be doing is uh, buying my cap and gown. So yeah, I'm going to get started on that. And a few of the other things that I got to get uh, completed for the day are the discussion question posts for both of the courses. So for intervention strategies and capstone in psychology. And then I have a short paper to write for the intervention strategies course. Um, also got to check in with um, an individual for my mental health case management internship. I'm really excited to get my cap and gown shipped. It's been quite a journey and yeah, I've reached this point in the process of my psychology program. <laughs> Cap and gowns are made from 100% recycled plastic bottles and students can recycle the cap and gowns, which I think it's really sustainable. Thing. I ordered the cap and gown and I got that checked off the agenda and I'm going to begin with the discussion questions. So for the intervention strategies course, the discussion theme is intervention and I have to um, discuss a case, uh, one of the case studies that are in the ebook. And um, yeah, so this was uh, about an individual who had this um, attachment disorder. Um, and then I have to uh, speak about an intervention that I would recommend for their um, disorder. And yeah, and yesterday I read the peer-reviewed journals and took some notes on index cards. And yeah, so I'm going to get um, started on writing that. The Capstone in Psychology course, the theme is Potential Research Topic. So for this course, uh, the final project is writing a research proposal. And for um, this discussion post, I'm going to um, be um, discussing the topic that I'm going to be choosing for my capstone project and then why I chose this topic and then identifying the target audience for your project um, and then also identifying the stakeholders for the project and then brainstorming research questions. Hi everyone, welcome to Thursday. So, so far today I've done a case management session for the internship. I actually got to um, speak with an individual about one of her obstacles and we did some goal setting and planning. And today on the agenda I have a short paper to write so I actually didn't really get to doing this task yesterday. So today I'm gonna be doing this short paper for the intervention strategies course. 
And yesterday I spent a lot of time brainstorming for the discussion post for the capstone in psychology course. And my research proposal topic is life coaching for adults at risk of mental health disorders. So these individuals, maybe they have a subclinical mental health um, disorder. Um, and that's basically what my topic is for that research proposal. And I also um, brainstormed a lot of other um, details for that discussion post, like the target audience, the stakeholders, um, what uh, you know, like research problem I'm going to be um, solving with uh, this life coaching topic, and then also some research questions. Um, yeah, so. And uh, other than the short paper that I have to write today, I also have to reply to discussion threads for each of the courses. And then at 8 p.m., which is at night, I have a support group. So I'm a facilitator for a support group at the internship as a case manager. And um, this support group um, provides like coping strategies and they um, individuals also get to express themselves in a safe environment. And these support groups are on um, Microsoft Teams we do like a video chat and yeah so it's um, we listen to their um, struggles with anxiety Thank you for watching the Days in the Life of a Psychology Student series.